Hey Seesaw users! Did you know Seesaw has some updates that makes creating activities even easier? Hi, I'm Billy Jo Edgeson from Elkhart Instructional Tech. In this video, I will show you how to use Seesaw Frames, edit the page settings to match your student's device size, show you how you can copy pages between different activities, and how you can lock sizes on objects. Creating activities just got easier with frames. These smart shapes actually open the selected tool for students and place their work in the right area on the canvas. This makes it easier for students to complete activities and gives time back to what matters most, showing what they know. When you create a new activity, just select Add Template for Student Responses to access the Creative Tools Canvas. You can also add this to an existing activity. I will choose an activity about money from the community library. Notice that when I tap on the heart, Seesaw now automatically asks which collection I want to save the activity to. What a great way to stay organized. If you haven't started using collections yet, this is a great time to start. If you don't want to add this saved activity to a collection, just press the X and the activity will be located in your My Library. Once in the Creative Tools Canvas, tap the Frames icon on the left-hand menu. Clicking this icon will open the Frames drawer. Click any of the tools you'd like added to be added to the canvas. You can see you have options of take a photo, record a video, just know only one video can be added per page of an activity. Record student voice. Record student screen and voice. Create a text field. Upload a file of the student's choice. Or give students the option to choose a tool. Be sure to see best practices for using tools linked in the video notes. Click on the outer border of the frame to resize, rotate, move, and access edit settings via the three dots menu. You can customize the tools further by tapping on the three dots menu. Some unique editing options for frames include tools, which gives teachers the ability to change the shortcut for students. Select at least one tool. If you select more than one tool, the student can choose which tool they prefer to use. Instructions allows you to edit the text that is displayed to students within the frame. Edit the frame's instructions to make the best use of the Canvas space and to provide detailed instructions to their students. For example, when using the photo frame, I can modify the instructions to say, take a photo of your coins and label each one. In the style, you can choose dotted, filled, or inverse dates to change the look of the frame. We have all created an activity for our students only to find out that it looks different on our students' devices, am I right? Now you can select your preferred canvas size in the Creative Canvas when creating an activity. This also works on previously created activities. Just tap the three dots on the page, select Page Settings from the dropdown. Next, select your preferred page size. It always defaults to freeform. You can choose also computer, which is a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, or tablet, 4 to 3 aspect ratio. The canvas will automatically adjust its size based on your selection. Teachers can save time creating, customizing, and remixing activities in Seesaw by copying and pasting pages between activities. Now, Note, this is only available using the website. It is not available using the app. First, in the Creative Canvas, when creating an activity or editing an activity, tap the three dot menu of the page you want to copy. Click the Copy Page Menu option or use Control C or Command C as a keyboard shortcut. Then, type Control V or Command V to paste the page into another activity. Here's a tip for the smoothest experience. Try having two tabs open, since we can only copy and paste one page at a time. 
While on this activity, I want to remind you that not only can you lock items so they don't move, you can also lock the size of items so that students don't accidentally resize them when moving them. To lock the shape, size, or position of an item, tap the item, then tap the three dot button. Select lock. You can choose to lock all, which would be locking the size, shape, and position of the item. Or you can choose lock size. Lock all will lock the item in place on the creative canvas. This is excellent for background images and objects that students don't need to move. Lock size will lock the size and shape of the item. This will allow the students to move items on the creative canvas without accidentally resizing the item. If you need to unlock the item to move it, just tap the three dot button and select unlock. Here's a tip. The keyboard shortcut command plus shift plus M or on a window alt plus shift plus M will lock the size. Command or alt plus shift plus L will lock all size, shape, and position of the item. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. You can check out our other resources on our link tree and on our instructional blog. We are also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and don't forget about our YouTube channel. We also have a podcast. Check us out on letstalked.tech.